from Rise tired. and shine. How many hours of sleep did you get? Not enough. Two, three. Well, folks, it is the final send. Son of a... It is the final send of the season. Snow Goose. This is, this is like the third attempt, right? At least. This is our third, third... I've done this intro like three times. Not like today, as in like, we've gone hunting three days without making a video. Snow Geese, I freaking hate you. But today... Today is gonna change. We are headed. We're headed in an hour west, and we are gonna find some birds. We're going to a place where there is literally one million snow geese. Not even kidding. I counted every single one last night. We're gonna go there right now. I believe we're gonna start off the day with a jump. If you guys don't know what a jump is, basically you sneak up on the birds, you jump up and you shoot them. Real, real, real crazy concept. But it's something that's it's fun, and uh, we have a great opportunity to do it. So we're gonna do that, and then. We're gonna set up all of our dive bomb decoys out in the field and lay down. Lay down in the corn and see if we can get some birds to come in later on this morning. So, that's the plan right now. I'm not gonna make this intro any longer because we just gotta go shoot birds. That's all there is to it. Oh yeah, she looking, she's looking nice. That was uh, that was good stuff. Oh yeah, look at all the mud. Oh baby, perfect. It's a little chilly. We went mud bogging, didn't film it. I might film it on the way out, but we're here. Everybody's here. We got Bobby, we got Colton, and a few of his buddies in Austin. We're gonna go jump some birds. We gotta go out there. I changed, if you didn't notice, I'm wearing a brown hoodie, because we're, we're jumping, so we gotta, we're gonna stand camouflage, and then when we lay out in white, we'll, we'll have the whites on. But anyway, so let's, let's go jump some birds. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got you. Oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah. Is the fire still going? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to shoot birds? We're going to try. I mean, I don't know how we wouldn't. You don't know? Spray and pray, right? That's exactly. the goal. Exactly. Hello. Hello. Ready, Good morning. Ready to jump birds? I am ready to jump birds. I've been ready to jump birds all my life and haven't been able to do it on film yet. This is the first, this is the first jump shoot that me and you've done. This is like an epic moment. Not yet. It might be. No, it's, what if it's we gonna scare be an epic. It's what if what if friggin' Goldilocks over here scares him? Oh, I'm quiet. Let me see that hoodie. Let me see that. Ugh. Oh goodness. Yeah. 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 Where can they buy it? Duckswaterfall.com. Link in bio. How's this lighting? Probably can't see anything, can you? Well, we're walking through the woods. We gotta sneak up on the birds. They're super loud, but we gotta be kind of quiet. We are walking right now, folks. There's so many snow geese right here, so many. I just think the I'll noise, hopefully they're loud. And, I mean, you spook one, you spook them all type of deal. So it's just this foot noise like. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, folks. 
that was that was such a struggle to film. We literally creeped up on them right at shooting light. Literally the minute of shooting light, they started getting up. We full on sprinted. I was trying to stay behind everybody so I could film, and I'm hoping that it came out. But I mean, you guys couldn't see hardly anything other than the gun flash. We made it rain, boys. We freaking made it rain. Woo! Oh, look at that. No broke wings either. Well, Bobby and I, we are, uh, Tim and I, we're gonna go uh, nut to butt, as they call it, on the old quad. Oh, yeah. We got the trailer loaded down. Oh, yeah. I think it's gonna happen. It may, it may or may not happen, we're gonna give it a shot. We got a, we got a ton of decoys set out. Got a lot of work to do, boys. Let's do it. We got all the decoys set out. I didn't, I didn't vlog like a whole lot, because we are kind of in a time crunch right now. As you can tell, it's nice and bright and sunny. We've We've had snows flying over us the entire morning this morning. The entire morning, they're everywhere. So we basically we're just hauling butt, setting all these all these decoys up and ready for the. Uh, it's called a loaf. Is that what it's called? It's not a feed. It's a loaf. That's what we're hunting right now. It's, this is the same body water we we jumped the birds on. So we came from there. We ran, jumped, and now once they're all scared up, we're we're loading down on decoys and seeing if either they'll come back or or a different group. But I wanted to tell you guys, these guys, these these decoys, they're called dive bomb decoys. Okay. These are the decoys that we are running today. They helped us out, and uh, so I want to help them out as well. They make hands down the best, the best decoys for for snow goose hunting. I mean, I've I've set a lot of socks that you guys have seen the last couple of years. We've gone hard on it, laying in white and whatnot. These these don't even compare to to the rest of them. This is like they're absolutely insane. They got the realistic heads. They got everything. But anyways, if you guys want to check them out, I'll link them down below. They helped us, so I would appreciate it. If you guys are needed decoys, go check them out. That helps me, they help me, I help them. That's how this whole thing works. Without them, we wouldn't have any of these decoys. None of these decoys would be here. We wouldn't even be hunting right now. So if you guys are enjoying the Snow Goose hunting videos, you can thank Dive Bomb. I will link them down below. But also, I got another tip for you guys. Since I'm Pro Hunter Flair, I got a tip for you. So right now, the ground is so hard, you can't stick the socks in the ground. So this is what, this is what you do. Let's see, I'll find, I'll find a good example of one over here. So right there, you can see, that one is inside of a corn stalk. That's what you do. So it, it took a long time to do it, but you just, you wedge it in the corn stalk. So this ground is way too hard, but the corn stalks are soft. So that's a tip for you guys. If you guys are hunting a cornfield and the ground's too hard to stick the socks in, then that's what you can do. So that's what we did. All these, all the decoys are just all in, all in stocks. I think we set up like six, six or 700 of them total. So quite a few decoys. We're gonna see if we can make it happen, but there's, I mean, like you guys, you guys can't see it, but there's, I mean, it's just, there's birds everywhere. Absolutely covered. We're gonna hope that we can get a few groups in here. This is the last snow goose hunt I will have for the entire season. I only was able to get out to, oh, I wasn't, I take that back. I went out three days and didn't shoot any. So today's kind of the last, the last hoorah at it in, in another sense, but that's what we're doing. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. It was a good morning, did a jump. Now, some of you guys that aren't familiar with snow goose hunting, you know, that's not something you want to do when you're shooting ducks or, or Canada geese or anything like that because right now there's no limits. So you guys saw all of them all rain down. No one knows who killed what. There, there's no limits, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's no plugs and no limits during conservation snow goose. So really, it's a good thing. There's a reason why there's no limits. It's because they're overpopulated. So what we did this morning is conservation. It's not... Oh, I thought, I thought there was birds landing. It's not like we're just destroying the population and, and making them go extinct. Like there's way too many of them. So that's that's in a sense, I, I want to explain that because some of you guys who are not familiar probably think that what we just did was like the most idiotic thing, non, non-ethical hunting ever. But when it comes to snows, that's what you got to do sometimes. You got to jump them and then set up big spreads. We're gonna see how it goes. Anyways, that's that's essentially what, what's happening. We got an e-collar. If, if you can't hear the e-collar, we got an e-collar too. So that's the setup today. We're gonna hopefully shoot some birds. Well, I definitely missed that first and second shot. It's been a minute since I pulled the trigger. We killed him! That boy dead!
Make, Make it, it rain. rain, boys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the wrap for the hunt for me. These guys are gonna stay out here. I got, I have to fly to Florida tomorrow, so I still have to pack. I just came in from Tennessee last night, and uh, I had to come hang out with my boys for the for the morning and, and shoot some birds. Couldn't couldn't resist on the last hunt for me, but uh, would we get 35 total? So there was a lot more that you guys saw we shot in the morning. We only shot one over the decoys, but we gotta head back. Remember what I was telling about like all the, all the mud and stuff. So we're gonna see if Austin and I will get stuck. You think we'll get stuck? I'll probably make us get stuck just for content's sake.